Caught between falling tax revenues and increasing retirement costs, city governments are struggling to find ways to balance their budgets. The mayor of San Diego, Jerry Sanders, has proposed what he calls a radical solution. Mayor Sanders now joins us live from his city with the details. Mr. Mayor, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much, Mark. Mayor Sanders, what is your radical solution? Well, we put in a new pension plan last year, which cut the cost in half to both the city and uh, employees, but that's simply not going to get rid of the unfunded liability. So we'll be taking an initiative to the voters uh, to put in a 401k style system for city employees. And uh, governments just haven't done 401ks in the past. They've always had defined benefit. Uh, but that leaves that unfunded liability when cities and counties and state governments don't pay their fair share to it. Uh, and that's what uh, really raises the costs of the pension payments every year. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you're trying to gather support right now, as I understand, to try to get this placed on the 20, uh, 2012 ballot uh, as an initiative there, a citywide initiative. How does that look so far? Well, I think we've got a lot of uh, business groups, a lot of other groups who are interested in ending the pension problems in San Diego once and for all, and that's what this actually does. So uh, we'll go out after the first of the year with a, an initiative that's been researched and put together and is fair to our employees, but it's also fair to the taxpayers. And I think you'll see a lot of people behind that uh, gathering signatures and making sure that it's ready to go in the first election that we can possibly get it on. Mr. Mayor, might I ask, your 401k plan that does uh, for new city employees that would exclude police and firefighters you are the former police chief you get a pension from that plan is there a disconnect there well I don't think there's a disconnect at all uh, police and fire are very competitive uh, for instance our police department hires a lot of officers from other agencies they lateral over uh, if there's not a pension plan that's compatible with theirs, then we're simply at a competitive disadvantage. So until we see other uh, agencies starting to come around on this issue and go to 401ks, uh, I want to make sure we have the best police and fire uh, services that we can, and we need to be competitive with other agencies on that. Sir, originally you proposed raising the sales tax in this economic environment. Was that an idea that was well received or not? No, it wasn't well received. Uh, it's something that I felt uh, was important. Uh, San Diego has not had a sales tax increase since I've been in the city in 40 years and uh, with declining revenue but more demand for city services, I felt the taxpayers needed to make a, a decision on that and they overwhelmingly turned that down. So uh, instead of just saying that we've got a cut, uh, we've been coming up with ways that we think are long-term solutions so that we never get in this mess again, but we can also have an impact now. and that is included with the 1,400 employees that we've cut mm. over the past few years, yeah. uh, with uh, looking for ways to put enterprise funds back into the city system. Uh, it's really looking at a radical rethinking of all the government. Mayor Sanders, we only have 20 seconds left. Is this a plan that's going to take root in other cities around the country? Well, I think uh, all the other cities will have to follow this as we see the unfunded liabilities explode across the country. How bad is it, sir? Well, it, I mean, we've got a big unfunded liability. Fortunately, uh, we've been able to solve pieces of that over the last five years because we hit this much earlier. Uh, yeah. But we still owe about $2.1 billion, so uh, that's a lot of money to owe. Mayor Jerry Sanders of San Diego joining us live from his city. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it.